Guinea pigs may be small, but they hold a big place in our hearts. Did you know that they are fragile pets and we can easily hurt them if we are not fully aware of the dangers around them? If you're planning to bring guinea pigs home or already have some, this two-part series will cover 20 potential hazards for your furry pets. By staying until the end, you'll learn how to easily avoid these dangers and keep your pets happy in a stress-free environment. Let's begin with the first part. Cage size. One way you could harm your guinea pig is by keeping them in a cage so small that they cannot move easily. Imagine having to live in a tiny room where you couldn't stretch your legs or move around freely, it would be really uncomfortable, right? Well, it's the same for guinea pigs. When they are confined to a small cage, it can cause them physical pain, lead to overweight, or even result in bumblefoot because the bedding is always wet. Guinea pigs love to run, jump, and play, so it's important to provide them with a spacious cage that allows them to move around comfortably. The cage should be large enough for them to take a few steps in any direction for playing, have separate areas for eating, and a spot for sleeping. The recommended cage size for two guinea pigs is at least 24 inches by 36 inches. However, for more than two guinea pigs, the cage should be larger. For instance, a cage for four guinea pigs should be around 15 square feet. Keep in mind, the more space you can provide, the better it is for your guinea pig's well-being. It's highly recommended to build your own cage using the CNC grid system before bringing any guinea pigs home. Living outside. In some parts of the world, people have the old habit of keeping their guinea pigs in a hutch outside the house. This is another way to harm your guinea pigs. Some pet stores still sell these hutches, claiming they are suitable for guinea pigs and rabbits. Personally, I think they are more suited for farm animals than exotic pets. By letting your guinea pigs live outside, they will be exposed to extreme temperatures. If the temperature inside their cage gets too hot, they can suffer from heat stroke, and if it gets too cold, they can suffer from hypothermia. Another dangerous aspect of living outside is the lack of care and attention from their owners, but I will talk about that later. Letting your guinea pigs live outside in a hutch also exposes them to various predators like cats, dogs, raccoons, and foxes. As exotic pets that enjoy being in the presence of their owners, keeping them inside provides them with security and less stress. Click the subscribe button if you liked this video and want to learn more interesting facts about guinea pigs. Temperature Even if your guinea pigs are living inside with you, they can be harmed if the temperature inside their cage is not appropriate. Just like other pets, guinea pigs will be affected by extreme changes in temperature. This is particularly true if their cage is directly on the ground and there is a cold draft in their room. The reverse is also true if their cage is directly exposed to sunlight and there is no fresh air. Guinea pigs are most comfortable when the temperature is kept between 18 and 24 Celsius or 65 to 75 Fahrenheit. Temperatures above 29 Celsius or 85 Fahrenheit could lead to heat stroke. It's also recommended to keep the room's humidity under 50%. To maintain a comfortable temperature in their room during the hot summer days, you should close the curtains during the day to avoid too much heat coming in. Using an air conditioner or a fan will also help to lower the room temperature. We also suggest you put a frozen water bottle wrapped in a blanket or a sock to place it directly in the cage. Our guinea pigs enjoy resting next to it. A fun fact about guinea pigs is that they cannot sweat like humans to regulate their body temperature. Because of this, they will drink more water during those hot summer days. Therefore, make sure to always provide plenty of fresh water for them. Playing outside. Watching videos of guinea pigs playing outside in the grass or eating wildflowers always looks so great. The piggies seem to enjoy the abundance of grass in the beautiful daylight. But did you know that the outdoors can be very hostile for them and many different things can hurt them? Indeed, our domesticated guinea pigs have adapted to live indoors, close to their human caregivers. They are no longer like their wild counterparts that reside in South America. As you know, guinea pigs are prey animals and they are not able to defend themselves against other animals. In the face of danger, a guinea pig will either freeze in a corner or run away to hide somewhere safer. Therefore, they can get lost or, even worse, get stuck inside a hole. Another risk for your free-roaming guinea pig is that they can be exposed to toxic plants outdoors. Garden plants like daffodils, lilies, and ivy can make your guinea pig sick or even cause death. 
Sometimes the outside grass can also be hazardous because it can be contaminated with herbicides, pesticides, or toxic fluids from the lawnmower. If you have a safe and clean place in your garden and you think that your guinea pigs deserve to stretch their legs outside, make sure that they have a place to hide from the sun. Also, ensure that they cannot escape from their enclosure and supervise them. Cage Cleaning Your guinea pigs are small and delicate animals. They are very sensitive to their environment, and your actions or procrastination can harm them. I remember the first month with our first guinea pigs, Sarah and Noodle. We really didn't know what we were doing. Like some new owners who comment on social media, we thought that because we gave them a big cage, we could only clean it once a week. I was wondering why, at the end of the week, they were not really active and stayed in the same place all the time. After extensive research on my phone, which included watching numerous videos on TikTok and resulted in carpal tunnel syndrome, I discovered that not cleaning my guinea pig's cage regularly was causing them harm. The fact is, if you can smell your guinea pigs when you enter the room, they have likely been living in an unpleasant, wet, and stinky environment. Imagine their discomfort living on damp bedding, littered with droppings and reeking of ammonia. Even if you put the most absorbent fleece liners at the bottom of their cage, they need to be changed and cleaned regularly. Some guinea pig owners have been able to potty train their piggies, others will use an open hay box like because for some reason they love to relieve themselves in the hay while eating. Some other guinea pig owners will use many different small sections of fleece layers on top of the main one, therefore they can easily change only the section that is wet, and this will take less than 5 minutes per day. Let me know in the comment section below how you manage to keep a clean cage for your piggies. Free roaming It might seem like a fun activity for your guinea pig, but did you know that letting your adorable pets roam freely in the house can be very dangerous for them? In fact, guinea pigs are curious animals and some of them might be tempted to wander off from their safe space. They can find themselves in dangerous situations, getting stuck behind furniture or even worse, coming into contact with harmful products. For example, some houseplants can be poisonous for them and they won't be able to recognize them before it's too late. Also, guinea pigs are rodents and as a reflex to wear down their teeth, they might try to gnaw on an electrical wire. Additionally, unsupervised guinea pigs can become scared and panic. They will try to hide and can get lost in hard-to-reach places. Their instinct to hide from larger animals can lead them into unsafe spots if other pets are in the house. You might even worsen the situation by trying to pull them out of a narrow spot. Always be careful when you take out your guinea pig for playtime in a different place. Whether you put them on the floor, on your bed, or on the couch, closely consider any potential dangers they may face. Don't forget to bring an extra blanket or towel to avoid any mess, as they will need to relieve themselves after 15 to 20 minutes. It's also a good idea to provide them with some toys, a bit of food, and a hiding place if you plan to leave them for a period of time while you clean their cage. Too much noise. One way you can harm your guinea pig is by playing loud music or sounds near them. As you know, guinea pigs have very sensitive hearing. You might have observed that when you open the refrigerator or a plastic bag after returning from the market. It makes them start to squeak as if they've been starving for hours. Therefore, imagine how they perceive loud noises and screams around them. It will definitely frighten them, cause stress, and they will try to hide. To avoid hurting your guinea pig's ears, it's important to keep the volume at a level that is comfortable for them. Make sure their environment is not filled with loud music or sounds, as it can make them feel uncomfortable and anxious. Loud noise will induce stress and anxiety in your guinea pigs. They can easily become frightened by sudden or consistent loud noises. As a natural reflex, they will hide and freeze in the corner of their cage. If they are constantly exposed to too much loud noise, they can not only lose their sense of hearing, but it will also have a negative impact on their behavior. When you set up your guinea pig space, it is important to provide them with a calm and quiet place. They will not only be happier, but you will also be able to hear their gentle sounds when they speak to each other. Therefore, you won't forget to bring them a treat when you come back from the kitchen. Yelling at them Some guinea pigs can be trained to perform tricks, jump over obstacles, or find a treat in a puzzle. Guinea pigs are very intelligent, but unlike dogs, yelling at them can be harmful in many ways. 
Guinea pigs, much like cats, are creatures of habit with their own unique personalities. As the American Dr. Temple Grandin famously stated, yelling at cats is pointless due to their independent nature. I personally believe that the same concept can be applied to guinea pigs. Yelling at guinea pigs is not effective in any way and must be avoided at all costs. As prey animals, guinea pigs are instinctively sensitive to sudden or loud noises, as they perceive these as threats coming from predators. Yelling at your guinea pigs can cause significant stress and anxiety, leading to various behavioral and health issues. Instead of teaching them appropriate behavior, this will create fear and mistrust between you and them. Like cats, guinea pigs do not understand yelling. They respond more positively to calm and gentle tones, which foster a sense of security and trust. Lack of socialization. One way you can harm your guinea pig is by keeping them alone without any companions. Guinea pigs are social animals and thrive when they have a companion to live with. Just as we enjoy spending time with our friends and family, guinea pigs also need social interaction to be happy and healthy. Imagine being alone all the time without anyone to talk to or play with. It would feel incredibly lonely and sad, right? Well, it's the same for guinea pigs. If they don't have a companion to live with, they can feel lonely and bored. Can lead to stress and even depression. It's important to provide them with a guinea pig friend so they can have someone to cuddle with, play games, and groom each other. When guinea pigs have a companion, they can communicate with each other through various sounds and body language. They can chase each other, share food, and even sleep together. Having a companion also helps them feel more secure and reduces their anxiety. They will be able to form a strong bond with their companion and enjoy a happier and more fulfilling life. Leaving them alone. There is one last thing that I want to discuss that can harm your guinea pigs in this two-part series. Not only can this hurt them, but it can also have severe consequences. Future guinea pig owners should consider this before adopting. Leaving your guinea pig alone for more than 24 hours can be extremely dangerous. It's obvious to any guinea pig owner that their pet will start to live in a dirty environment if left alone for too long. Given the amount of feces and urine they produce, their surroundings will quickly become stinky and unpleasant. If you leave your guinea pigs alone for too long, they can get really thirsty and hungry, which can hurt them. Guinea pigs need more than a large pile of hay and water to survive. Even if you leave them with a substantial amount of veggies, they will consume it rapidly. Some guinea pigs may not eat certain veggies entirely, leaving them to decay with their leftovers. They may also waste and spoil the hay, and might be too picky to eat it the next day. The most crucial reason not to leave guinea pigs unattended for more than 24 hours is due to potential health emergencies. Compared to other pets, guinea pigs have a more fragile life, which can deteriorate rapidly. If a guinea pig is injured and cannot eat or drink for more than 24 hours, their system may start to shut down, making it almost impossible to save them. To ensure your guinea pig's health and happiness, it's essential to provide them with proper care. This includes fresh food and water, a clean living environment, and daily social interaction. If you need to be away for more than a day, consider having a trusted friend, family member, or professional pet sitter to check on your guinea pig and provide the necessary care in your absence. Do you have the right setup for your guinea pigs? Let me know in the comments how you have organized their living space and how often they ask you to bring them a treat from the kitchen. In the next part of this series, we will explore 10 other situations that can hurt your guinea pigs. If you like this video, don't forget to boop the like button. And because you stayed till the end, you're an awesome guinea pig owner. Thank you for watching.